And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. A big game two in store for us here today, Chris. And the series started out like you might expect. The home side taking care of business in game one. But this game today is going to reveal a lot about what this series will become. Will it be a battle for six or seven games? Or will it be a walkover? Those are the questions that we start getting more clarity on after game two. I have a feeling it's going to be a good one, Chris. This should be fun. All right. We'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get started and getting to start. Richard Gaudio, what do we have on him? Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, runner, runner, runner on the goal. Hey. Strike in there. Throw to second. Ow! Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. In the air to left center. Racing makes the catch. And that will end the inning. On to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. Bottom of the first. Showing the slab in today's game. Marcos Oliveros. What's the scouting report on him? Well, he went the distance last time, came away with the W, and we'll see if he can continue that trend in this one. But he's going to sink it, he's going to change speeds, and he's going to pitch backwards at times. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And the right hater deals. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. That's the third out. Scoreless after one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Back to work, 3-2 now. The punch out there, and good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. The pitch. Swings and misses. And that is that. We'll move to the third with no score. Late. Very susceptible for the two-seamer here. Let's see what he throws. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Play, but in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Out on the off-balance throw. The bat. Guy, first base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. 2-0. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Martin, rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score easily, and it's 1-0. And in its second with an RBI double. But when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. comes a pitch swing and a miss that one in the dirt up with it fires the first that completes the strikeout inning over 
But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 1-0. Catch up to that velocity. And a swing and a miss. And there's one down. They usually are going to see that inside fastball. And down on strikes he goes. Inning over. A two out RBI and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. That one the other way. Base hit right field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Very capable of getting the ground ball and getting out of this little jam. Going two now. To the right side. Flowers handles to first. And that'll do it. for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Swing and a miss. Struck him out and one away. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Lock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Marco Velez. This one lifted in the air, left field. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one away. You have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's two down. Now back. Oh, and one. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Ground ball, left side. Fires over to first. And that will end the inning. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. Wow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He sends a rocket to left. And they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here comes the manager. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 3-0. Now the shortstop, Diego Marte. He's over one. Line drive, base hit. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long.
really important to getting back into this ball game. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Here's what I think the manager's thinking right now. Today, we're not driving the ball. It's hard to get extra base hits. We've got to make something happen to get a runner in a scoring position. The one-two. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not... The pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. Third out. And that ends the frame. I say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confident to move to the at bat. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, and that's a leadoff double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Righty to the plate. Base hit, and a run comes in. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting the game. You cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and Woody Keller right on it. Says he held up. Walks out of the bullpen, connects over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. In plenty of time to first. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and this is now a 3-1 ball game. a little bit line drive base hit two consecutive base hits for these guys here just a cookie down the middle in third this one blasted the other way down the line and it's a foul ball Line drive to short and caught. Two on, two outs. Got him swinging. That's out number three. This one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. That one ripped. Banks off the wall. The relay, not going to get him. He's in there. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Here's a speed threat, Sandy Smith. Now back, center fielder, Sandy Smith. Hard hit, base hit. Runner around third. 
Relay throw. Slide tag save. And it's a one-run game. Well done. Drives in the run. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. Laser base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. High fly ball out into left center field. Franco under it. Drops into the glove. And there's two down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. And now Steve Conrad. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Bounced up the middle. Inning over. That's a crucial missed opportunity. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. They get it in quickly, so first and second, now one out. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes. Kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff, that results in a ton of strikeouts in a tough spot like this. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Now a long throw home. It's offline, and he scores, and they lead by two. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today, so impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that, but so far I've seen him stay consistent with his... Down the line, it's a base hit. Runner from third comes across. It's 5-2. Picks himself up in RBI. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. This to third. They take the force out. Out number three. One more shot coming up. Bottom of the ninth on deck. The Marlins with the lead in this one. Five to two. And he deals. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Kicks and deals. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all home. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. Two-two down. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. 
Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. Your final score 5-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Chambi saying so long